Hello and welcome to another edition of D-Link TV. I'm Hemok, and here with me is Mike. And today we're going to discuss the new member of the Media Lounge family, the DSM 750 HD Wireless N Media Center Extender. Yes, it's a long name. So I have Mike here again to uh, explain what, uh, what the name means and what the product does. So, so from what I hear that this product is our first wireless N media, uh, media extender slash media player? Right. This is, uh, not only supports draft in, but it supports dual band draft in. Mm -hmm. So not only do you have the 2.4 gigahertz draft in band, but you have the 5 gigahertz draft mm -hmm. in band as well. So I know that 2.4 is usually the standard. So right. why do you also include the... Uh, Gigahertz. Well, Hemog, the 5 gigahertz is, is beneficial because you're not going to have as much interference. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's a lot of things that use the 2.4 gigahertz range. You have cordless phones, you have microwave ovens, you have mm -hmm. baby monitors. You know, the majority of things, radio signals that you're going to find out there for the home with devices, you know, such as baby monitors and that kind of thing, are going to use 2.4 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. So when you have a wireless network in your home, mm -hmm. You get a lot of interference, you know, mm -hmm. especially if, if you're using those things. You have mm -hmm. your cordless phone sitting by your, right. your media player and stuff like that. So the 5 gigahertz band, you do see some cell phones, mm -hmm. or I mean some cordless phones with 5 gigahertz, mm -hmm. but it's really not nearly as populated of a band as mm -hmm. the 2.4 gigahertz. I see. So if you want to utilize the 5 gigahertz mode, then you would have to use this product with a D-Link DAP 1555? Right, okay. right. Or, or a D-Link uh, dual band draft in uh, router, which that's going to be coming out. Will be coming out. Yes. Great. Yes. And uh, let's see. So, so again, using the wireless N technology, right? Mm -hmm. How much better um, is it going to be for streaming? Uh, let's say you know videos and HD videos right. and other media that you have. Well, I mean, it's essential to streaming HD video because, mm -hmm. frankly, you can't stream HD video over the uh, 802.11G mm -hmm. or or B or or A, for that matter, it's mm -hmm. just it's just too slow. Mm -hmm. So in order to stream HD content, mm -hmm. you really have to have the draft in technology. I see. And also because the wireless end signal travels farther, right? It gives you a little bit more flexibility and placement options, right? Right. So not only do you have the increased speed that we talked about to transfer mm -hmm. HD content, but you have the increased range. So whereas before, you know, if you're in a large home and you have your router on one end of, of your home and you have your, you know, media room over mm -hmm. on the other end, you're going to have some, you know, some problems with the distance. But draft in does go a lot farther, as you mentioned. So there's really doubled the benefit to draft in. Great. And now let's kind of talk about some of its features. Um, so again, this product is really made for uh, Vista PCs, either Vista Home Premium or Vista Ultimate right. PCs that already have the uh, media center on their PCs, right? That's that's correct. So, so with this product, what can I do? Well, with with those two versions, you have the Microsoft Media Center Edition, which acts as um, a server for your video content, mm -hmm. your pictures, your music, mm -hmm. but it also acts like a DVR in the sense that if you have a TV tuner card mm -hmm. installed on your PC, mm -hmm. you can record and play back and pause live television, mm -hmm. and um, in that case, you can transfer that content mm -hmm. to your television set using this device without actually having to have that PC physically connected to your TV. I see. So is the UI that you're going to be able to see on your TV using the DSM-750 exactly the same as what you would see on your PC? It would be the same as you would see on your PC, right? So if you're used to using your Media Center Edition, the functionality of it with the scrolling, and, and you know, it's really kind of cool looking. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to see that on the interface of this unit as mm -hmm. well. So you're not going to see a D-Link um, interface or anything like that. You will see the Microsoft interface. Great. And one more thing that I thought was really cool about this product is the fact that if you do have a TV tuner card uh, installed on your PC, is that you can get the uh, up-to-date up like TV channel programming, you know, through uh, through uh, Microsoft. Right. One of one of the nice things about Media Center Edition Hemoc mm -hmm. is that um, that guide that you know that, mm -hmm. that TV guide is is free of charge. Mm -hmm. um, whereas you know some DVR services 
will require you to you know either pay through the for the box or your cable company or maybe mm -hmm. pay for a subscription to the device so that you can get the channel you know mm -hmm. guide and stuff like that but with media center edition it really is mm -hmm. free it's it, you know microsoft's just giving right. that that away so. and again it, it so it would record the tv programs on your computer yes and it would stream from your computer onto this device onto your tv that's right and and one of the other nice things about media center edition too is that if you have a DVD burner built into your PC, mm -hmm. you can easily, right there, you know, go ahead and, and burn your disc so you can have a hard copy and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, you might be wondering, well, what's the advantage to having Media Center over, you know, just ordering a DVR from my cable company? Mm -hmm. Well, you, I mean, if it's all built into your computer, mm -hmm. you have that benefit. Not only do you have the free guide and all that kind of stuff so you don't have to pay on a monthly basis, mm -hmm. but you have your DVD burner on your, on your PC so you record a show that you like and, you know, pop in a blank disc and boom you can save it and archive it. So. Mm, I see. So why don't we talk about some of its, uh, uh, the connections that's available. Sure. So th the best way to connect this device would, would be high definition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one of, the, one of the benefits that we mentioned. Um, if you don't have a high definition, well, let's first say, if you do have a high definition TV, there's a couple ways you can connect this with um, component connections, mm -hmm. which is the, the red, green, and blue that mm -hmm. you see. It's really an analog connection, but it does give you a high definition signal. So the up to 720p, right? Uh, up to 720p, right. Mm -hmm. So um, you will find that the majority of high definition TVs mm -hmm. do have um, the component inputs for high definition, so mm -hmm. this does support that as well. Um, on the more later editions of high definition televisions, you're going to find a digital connection called HDMI. Mm -hmm. And this also supports an HDMI connection, which is a single cable mm -hmm. that will connect to your TV and it brings the audio and the video into your television mm -hmm. set. So, Or if you also want to connect digital audio to, let's say, your sound, uh, sound system, mm -hmm. then you could utilize the, either the coax or the digital optical, right? Right, so the I mean. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So a lot of um, a lot of like uh, uh, stereo processors now, the, the amplifiers and stuff mm -hmm. like that, will have the ability to um, do 5.1 mm -hmm. surround sound, mm -hmm. Dolby Digital. And in order to get that, you really need, do need a digital mm -hmm. audio signal. So this does support both mm -hmm. types, either a coax audio signal um, that goes digital or, a, a, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, a fiber optic. Right. So. And again, if your TV does not include an uh, HDMI or a component uh, output or input, right. then you could utilize the composite, right? Right, yeah. Don't mm -hmm. despair. You can, you can hook it up you know, the old-fashioned way. It will work with anything. Yeah, absolutely. So. Great. So again, if your PC has uh, lots of media content, right? Like, your, like let's say your movies, your mm -hmm. home videos, photos, your music, and now even TV. Now even TV. Now you could, all, you could stream all of that using this device mm -hmm. onto your television set. Right. Great. Thanks so much. Thanks, Ima. So again, if you like more product information on the DSM-750, go on to dlink.com. And if you'd like to check out more episodes, just go to dlink TV or stay on dlinktv.com. Thanks again for tuning in to dlink TV. Until next time.